Going back to last year, there have been almost constant rumors that Kirsten Nielsen was on the chopping block, but administration sources tell Fox News that President Trump asked for her, uh, asked for her resignation as this uh, growing crisis at the southern border continues, and he felt, felt like he needed to take a more aggressive approach to fix it. Now, the president, he wants the toughest cop around on border security, and he did not feel like Nielsen fit that bill. Back in November, even, President Trump told Chris Wallace he wished Nielsen was tougher when it came to border Border security. Now, we saw the first step of this new effort by the White House last week when it pulled down the nomination of Ron Vitiello to head ICE, and the president said he wanted to go in a tougher direction. What's not clear is how much more of an impact Nielsen's replacement can make, given the divide on Capitol Hill and Congress's inability thus far to address the crisis. Nielsen even alluded to that in her resignation letter, saying, I hope that the next secretary will have the support of Congress and the courts in fixing the laws which have impeded our ability to fully secure. America's borders and which have contributed to discord in our nation's discourse. Our country, the men and the men and women of DHS deserve to have all the tools and resources they need to execute the mission entrusted to them. Now, Nielsen initially said her resignation was effective immediately. She later said that she plans to stay on until Wednesday to help make it for a little bit smoother of a transition, Bill. Why does the White House say things could be better or different, I should say, under different leadership? Well, first off, uh, Kevin McAleenan, he fits the White House's bill of being the toughest cop around on border security, particularly with his background being uh, the head of Customs Border and Protection. You know, McAleenan, he is extremely familiar with the nuances of the situation at the border. Sources say that he is extremely intelligent, he's organized, and he has a great relationship with DOD, the State Department, and the National Security Council, which is extremely important given how much DHS is working with the Pentagon to address the border. This this morning on Fox and Friends, Mark Morgan, who was the Border Patrol chief under President Obama and worked with McAleenan, said that he is the man for the job. And what I'll say about Kevin is he's an extremely intelligent guy. I used to joke around he's lost more IQ points than I'll ever have. And what he brings that's unique is over a decade of specific border security experience. And he's very skilled at kind of managing D.C. politics on both sides of the aisle. So it, it's, it's a good fit. What's not clear at this point is how long McAleenan will serve in that acting role as the head of DHS, and it, or if he will be nominated to become the permanent replacement. But given the president's current cabinet and the number of vacancies and the number of acting secretaries he currently has, if that's an indication, he could be there for a while, Bill.